Hello mga kabay, kumusta po? I hope all is well. So for today's video, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano po makumuha ng merge certificate application online. Let's start! So important note lang po, a PSA certified marriage certificate takes longer to process than a certified true copy from the local civil registry. The actual processing time depends on how fast the local civil registry transmits your marriage contract or marriage certificate to the Philippine Statistics Authority. Wait for at least 2 to 3 months for your marriage certificate to become available at the Philippine Statistics Office. So first po, you have to visit the website psaservilis.com.ph and ito po yung lalabas important notice civil registry documents can only be issued to the owner himself his or her spouse parent direct descendants guardians legally in charge of him or her if minor the court or proper public official in case of person's death the nearest of kin if you are the document owner and you are unable to receive the document, you may authorize a representative to do so on your behalf. The authorized representative will have to present the following to the courier. Your signed authorization letter, valid ID with photo and signature, valid ID with photo and signature of your authorized representative. So press nyo lang po yung OK. Yan. Then you have to go to... Request online application. Yeah, so click here to request now. Then meron po dito terms and conditions. So basahin nyo lang po yan. So PSA service accepts delivery within or outside the Philippines for local request. Delivery destination is within the Philippines. 330 pesos per copy of the issuance of birth, marriage, and death certificate. 430 pesos per copy of Senomar. And additional 30 pesos serves as a documentary stamp tax. Ayan. So, my refund uh, and cancellation condition po dito. So, it says, after payment is made, request cancellation can no longer be accepted. PSA Service adopts a no refund and no cancellation policy for all its services. So click nyo lang po yung I accept. Yan. So here, you have to fill up all the details. The requester's name, where will we deliver the documents. Ayan, meron po ditong province, municipality, zip code, telephone number, email address, and tax identification number. But, it's optional naman po. So, kapag nag-fill up nyo na po yan, click nyo lang po yung next. So, kapag nag-fill up nyo po yung mga details, ito po yung lalabas. Please confirm if the following details are correct. So, nandiyan po yung requester's name, delivery address, your mobile number, your email address, and TIN if nilagay niyo po. But sa akin, hindi ko nilagay kasi it's optional naman. Then, the delivery schedule is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday except holidays. Then, pakibasa na rin po yung mga disclaimer. Ayan. Then, click niyo po yung confirm. Ayan. So, we will request marriage certificate. Click nyo po yung marriage certificate. So, ito po yung question. Please answer the following questions accurately. Was there any correction or amendment done to the marriage certificate you are applying for? So, sa amin naman po is no. Were you able to previously get a copy of the marriage certificate from PSA? Sa amin is no. Kasi first time po namin mag-apply sa PSA. Then, click nyo po yung next. Then, you have to put the number of copies. Then, you have to fill up the following. Husband's name. Wife's maiden name. 
place of marriage, date of marriage, registered late, and purpose. Ayan. And yung fee po is 330 per copy. And meron po dito ng advisory. Due to latest quarantine restrictions and implementation of reduced workforce, please expect delays in payment confirmation, document processing, and delivery. For your tracking, you will receive a dispatch notice through email once your document is on its way. We hope for your continued support and understanding as we operate with additional health and safety measures to protect everyone. So, meron din po dito notice na PSA Service Processing and Delivery Schedule. For Metro Manila delivery, it will take 4 to 6 working days after payment. For other provinces, 6 to 8 working days after payment. Additional 5 to 7 days for areas that are outside of courier standard serviceable area. And please allow longer delivery times for the following provinces. Bicol, Osamis, Butuan, Cotabato, Pagadian, Dipolog, Iligan, Sambuanga, Tagbiliran, Tacloban, or Mok, and Dumaguete. So, kapag na-fill up na po yung mga details, and nilagay nyo na po yung purpose, kasi ang purpose dito is to either claim benefits or loan for employment abroad or local, others, passport, travel, or, or school requirements. Then, click nyo lang po yung save. So, please confirm if the following details are correct. And to check nyo lang po ulit yung number of copies na na-request nyo kung tama. Husband's name, wife's maiden name, place of marriage, date of marriage, registered late, and yung purpose. Then, click nyo po yung confirm. So, nakalagay dito. Your request for the marriage certificate of will require manual search and retrieval in the PSA microfilm and paper archives. An additional 10 to 15 working days will be needed to process your request. Proceed with this request. Click nyo lang po yung proceed. Ayan. So, nakalagay na po dito yung request summary. Then, yung contact and delivery information sa right side. With the following details, requester's name, delivery address, telephone or mobile number, and email address. Then, click nyo lang po yung submit. Then, takalagay po yung instruction sa right side on how to pay. So, it's either print two copies of this page. And then, you will be asked of this copy when paying for your request in your designated box. The other copy is your personal copy. Or you can pay through the following. Credit card. Banco de Oro. Union Bank. Or Bayad Center. So sa akin, click ko po yung pay online via credit card now. So click nyo po yun. Ayan. So here, there are terms and conditions. The PSA Service accepts Request for delivery within and outside the Philippines. Nakalagay po ulit yung uh, price per copy. Ayan. So, no refund and no cancellation. So, click nyo lang po yung I accept. Ayan. So, nakalagay na po yung amount due. Then, proceed to payment. So, pipili po kayo if you want to pay via Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or JCB. So, kapag nakabayad na po kasi po yung lalabas, there will be a payment of acknowledgement. Ang nakalagay po dito, you have successfully paid your request through online credit card payment facility. A copy of this payment acknowledgement has also been sent to your email. So, go to the delivery page to know when your documents will be delivered. You can also check the status of your request on the PSA Service homepage. Please ensure that you will be available Monday to Friday excluding holidays between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the delivery address you specified. After payment is made, request cancellation can no longer be accepted. PSA Service adopts a no refund and no cancellation policy for all its services. And nakalagay po dito yung customer service contact information na PSA. So that's it. Thank you for watching.
Bye.